Hello everyone, this is Wes Fryer. It's December the 29th, 2020, and in this video I'd like to show you how I used WordPress and a commercial plugin that I searched for and ended up finding to set up a recipe website. I love cooking and I love sharing recipes and I've done that on different, you know, different websites throughout the years, but what actually motivated this uh, was that my wife's father had put together a um, cookbook of all these like 53 recipes that um, her mom you know loved to cook and but they were it was in a it was actually in a Claris Works database which is an old um, productivity database program that that actually I don't even have anymore and so anyway it was kind of a journey to get all that but I'm going to show you uh, what I've ended up creating and, and then how I created it so let me actually first just show you the website that I've created. So the website is food.westfryer.com and uh, you can click on a recipe like let's actually scroll down here to this fondue and you can click on it and uh, has the title has a picture here. It's got uh, any equipment that's needed, the ingredients, the instructions, and then in several cases we've got videos that go with it that are right here and then there's a place to have notes that are below. Um, I have uh, put the most recent posts here and then under categories for instance if you want to see all the ones that my mother-in-law Clara Ward did um, there's a, a category and and we don't have pictures for most of the recipes that she did we just made a pecan or Sarah actually just made a pecan pie so we have that one <clears throat> but that's going to be one of our next steps is going to be uh, actually putting pictures uh, with these recipes and I have not you know I, I have not put it a ton of my recipes in here either uh, but what I have done is there's a really great iPhone and, and an iPad app called paprika and it allows you to export your recipes and so I have a page here and then I have the export of like hundred and seventy one recipes and um, these are you know different different things that we've cooked and it's just a static export but anyway, that's the website that I created, and so I'm going to show you uh, basically the, the steps for how I did that. And I'm going to first show you how I'm posting a new recipe here, um, but let me talk you through these steps. So if you want to do something like this, you have to have a web host. You have to pay somebody to host your website, and if you stop paying them, then your website goes away. So you, you definitely want your site backed up. Um, I've used different web hosts through the years. I'm using one called Liquid Web right now for uh, my websites. You also will, you know, want to post a do or have a domain, and so um, I I register my domains through GoDaddy. You can use different kinds of registrars. Google is actually really affordable for doing this. I found it's better to register your domain separately from the company that you have your hosting with because you might want to move who you're hosting with, and that makes it a little bit easier to do if you if you need to end up moving that. Um, the other thing that I did is um, I set up what's called a C name. And <clears throat> with my web host, I use something called cPanel. And so you can look this up, but this is a way that you can um, add um, a, a subdomain. So um, that means my, my main westfire.com website uh, is my professional website that you know tells about me and podcasts and things like that. But by just putting the word food in front of westfire.com, that's called a subdomain. And in order to do that, you have to you have to uh, have a C name entry in your DNS record for your website. Yeah, this is a little technical. So anyway, that's that's what I had to do to set this up. So the other thing I had to do was find a plugin for WordPress. Now I guess I should back up and say, you know, why WordPress? WordPress powers a ton of websites in the world today. Um, I've been using WordPress for quite a while. Um, I don't know, since the, well, I guess it's probably since 2005, so 15 years uh, since I set up my, um, my Speed of Creativity blog. And it's free, but you have to have a place to host it. You can go to WordPress.com and set up a free website, and you can host there, but you're limited on plugins and things like that if you, if you do stuff on WordPress.com. So this is the one that I found. Uh, shout out to my friend Alan Levine, who I tweeted to for some tips and suggestions. 
Um, I looked for free ones. Uh, I weighed the options. I think I ended up getting this one at like 50% off with a deal online. But this is called WP Recipe Maker. I'll include a link to this in the YouTube video that I'm recording and then also the blog post that I'm putting up uh, so that you can access all these links. Um, there are different bundles and I just went with the cheapest one, which is the, the, the premium bundle. And I'm trying to remember if it was because of the import maybe that I needed this. I wanted to hopefully just directly import, you know, from my, um, from a spreadsheet. And it ended up that I had to, to create these, you know, kind of manually, but there is an import process. Um, and so anyway, you definitely want to have something that is being updated. Um, and when you are, you know, looking, um, well, this is for themes as well. Um, so when you, when you look for any kind of WordPress plugin or, um, plugin or theme, uh, you want to find one that is hosted here on the official WordPress.org repository. So you can see this one was last updated seven days ago. There's 40,000 installations currently. Um, it's got good ratings, you know, and, um, anyway, I did research and this is the one that, that I went with. So, um, I also needed a theme. Uh, you can just use the you know themes that come in WordPress that are default, but I found this one. Um, there's a lot of these that are that are free, but it's just the light version, and they really, of course, want you to get the pro version. And so I did a bunch of hunting. This is the one that I found uh, that is completely free, and I am really liking it. It's called Food Themes by Faster Themes. So here is what I have today as I'm logged in. I have 63 recipes that are now in my WP recipe maker. And what I want to show you really quick is just the process for putting a new recipe in. So one of the things that's been good about this is uh, we've had this family learning blog called Learning Signs for years. And there are some different things that we've posted uh, along the way in different places. Um, I thought I had the link to this one. Yeah, this is a black bean dip um, recipe. And here it is. And so back in August of 2009, our daughter Rachel at the time uh, recorded this and uh, had put this on YouTube. Anyway, we don't have this recipe written down anywhere, uh, but we do have this video. And so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and put that into my my website here. So I'm logged in. I'm at, I've clicked on the WP Recipe Maker uh, menu choice here in the left sidebar, and I'm going to say Create Recipe. And here at the top, I'm going to click import. And this is where you can just copy and paste from a, an Excel spreadsheet. In this case, I'm going to actually just copy from a text file and I'm going to paste this in. And what you can do is you highlight this and it's very smart in terms of bringing in the quantities and all this. This doesn't, this particular recipe, we don't even have the directions to, but we did, I, my wife and I just wrote down the, the uh, ingredients. So when I click ingredients, It'll go ahead and create these as ingredients. And if there were steps too, it would do that. And I'll say, use these values. And so now I'm going to put in the title. Um, I do have a video to go with this. And so I'm going to copy the link to this YouTube video. And then up here at the top, I can click embed video. And so I'll go ahead and put that in here. Um, it's going to put, I, I'm going to be the author of this post. So it's automatically going to, going to put my name in and now I, there's a lot of other stuff you can put in prep time, cook time. Um, I will do categories. So I'm going to call this, um, an appetizer. And we've also used this actually as a, as a main course, I guess you could use it as a side dish too. Usually you don't have that many selections, but, uh, and then you can choose what cuisine this is. Uh, I don't know, I guess we'll say it's American. And then you can add keywords. There really isn't equipment here in this one, but if you do, you can put equipment in. Here's where the ingredients are. I like how you can add ingredient links. So as an example, on some of these recipes, uh, let's see, for instance, the prime rib that I did, um, you can actually have recipes linked to things. So we, we use this herb to province seasoning and you can notice these are, they're actually hyperlinked. So that's really cool to be able to include direct links if you want to. That's a little fancier than I'm doing right now. Um, yeah. So here's the ingredients. Now instructions. Normally I could be copying and paste these. So I'm just going to say, 
uh, combine all ingredients and enjoy with tortilla chips. And that's basically it. If I needed to add more instructions, I could add them here. If I needed to change the order of anything, I can do that as well. Um, so yeah, that's it. I could also add notes. So here I'm gonna click save and close. What this has done is it's put that in the database um, for WP Recipe Manager. It hasn't created a post yet. When I create a post, it's gonna go here. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click on, um, I'm gonna call them later. Um, is that Wildcat? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go ahead and... I know, he's calling me three times. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create the post. So I'm going to say black bean dip, and I'm going to click here. And there is a special block for this WordPress plugin uh, called WPRM Recipe. And so I select that, and instead of creating a new recipe, I say insert an existing recipe, and so I can go ahead and select that. So that is going to format and insert the entire recipe with all the different elements there and the video, pretty much everything except the picture. I found it's, I'm liking better not putting the picture directly in here. I'm gonna put it in over here um, separately. Um, so I'm gonna leave myself as the author. Uh, categories, again, I'm gonna say appetizers, and it could be a main course and I'm going to put myself because there's a video I've created a category for videos so people can search for that and now I'm going to set the featured image so previously and these are things I've already uploaded I'm going to upload that video that uh, picture and actually okay I may not have saved it so I'm going to go to I need to create this um, I guess I don't have a picture so let me just create a a picture really quick. I'm going to go ahead and just take a screenshot of Sarah putting all this together in here. I use Sketch to make screenshots like this. So we'll go ahead and export this and call it uh, black bean dip. So I've got a picture to go with it. Now I can select that file and what it's going to be doing is making this the featured image that goes with this post and that's going to put it actually at the top of the recipe so set that as the featured image and it's over here on the side okay now I could add tags or other things if I want to that's basically it so now I'm gonna click publish and publish and now when I view the post this is what it's going to look like I've got my title here at the top. I've got a little picture of it here. I've got all of the details, and then I've got the video right there. Isn't that cool? And then if I, when I go back to my home page, it's going to have that image here. And that's really, I mean, images are, of course, really important. That's how a lot of people are going to decide to click on things, as if they, they see the images. Um, but that's it. And now, <clears throat> if people select you know, category, for instance, that one does have a video so that you could select my name, or if you click on video, this is one of the recipes that has the video that goes with it. But we can browse by by using, you know, uh, the other categories or, or things like that as well. All right? So that is basically it. Uh, I hope that's been helpful to you. It certainly is a more complicated process to think about having your own website like this, and it may be that you're going to pay somebody uh, to help you do this and and to you know host it and and it, you know also keep it safe and protected back up your website um, I'll do a final little plug here so backup buddy by iThemes if you end up running your own websites you know with WordPress so important to back up and I've used iThemes plugins for a long time and this is the one that I use to uh, keep my sites backed up, and that is that is super important. Uh, iTheme Security is is really a good plugin as well, um, because you know the computing environment you didn't know is very hostile. There are people trying to hack websites all the time, and so you very well, unless you're super tech savvy uh, and want to get into this or have already gotten into this, you know may want to be paying somebody. Uh, just shop around and make sure that you're not you know being taken advantage of as far as the prices and things like that if you end up you know paying somebody to host your website but I'm pretty excited about this and I'm going to be continuing to 
add to this. Um, we're going to add video or images. For instance, if you click on my mother-in-law's name here, uh, most of the recipes here, some of them have pictures, but most of them don't. Uh, so as we cook these, we're going to be adding those pictures. Um, and then I've been enjoying, you know, making more videos um, on YouTube. And I've got those linked here, but it's kind of neat to be able to have a, a direct recipe link that has all the instructions and a picture. And if there's a video, all that stuff together. So good luck to you. And if this is helpful, uh, reach out to me. Let me know. Uh, you can leave a comment in the YouTube um, in the YouTube comments, or if you want to reach out to me on Twitter, I'm W. Fryer. You can reach out to me that, that way. Thanks. Good luck.